In this video we're given a linear function, 3x minus 2, and we're asked to find f prime of x, and we're going to do so using the limit definition of the derivative. So we start with our notation, f prime of x, which denotes the derivative of f of x, equals, now we're going to use our difference quotient, but in order for them to be equal we do have to be taking the limit as h approaches 0, so that needs to be in our um, equation. And then we write our difference quotient, f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. You'll see a lot of this, so we'll know it pretty soon. And now I go to my next line, and I write equals, and I keep the equals lined up. I don't need to write f prime of x every time, but I do need to write limit as h approaches 0 every time until I take that limit, which will happen later. f of x plus h is our linear function with x plus h plugged in for x, so 3 times the quantity x plus h, minus 2, minus, and now the second function you should always put in a set of parentheses, because that negative needs to be distributed to all the terms. That's a common error, all over h. Now we go to the next line where we're going to start doing some algebra. Once again, I do need to write limit as h approaches 0. Again, a notational comment. Notice the equals is before the limit because we need to be taking limit of something. There's no equals between the limit and the expression. 3 times x is 3x. Distribute the 3 to the h and we get a plus 3h. We have a minus 2 from the minus 2 right here. And now we distribute this negative. Minus 3x and a negative times a negative 2 becomes a positive 2 all over h. Now we're going to do some simplifying. So once again I write my equals. I have not taken a limit yet, so I do need to write limit as h approaches 0. But if I go back to my line before, notice that the 3x's are going to cancel, as are the negative 2 and positive 2. So I get down to 3h over h, those h's will cancel, and now I can take my limit as h goes to 0. Well, the limit of a constant is just a constant, so this equals 3. So there's our f prime of x, and if we notice the relationship to the original problem, this was the slope of the linear function, or the m. Well, that makes sense because a linear function has a constant rate of change, so the derivative would be the same at every point and is actually equal to the slope of our linear function. 